Hello guys, it's your Naka Spiegel here again and welcome to the lore uh, the lore video we're going to talk about this lore the War of the Six Elemental Lords and yeah after my previous week I mean before I mean I'm trying to say is like my previous video the Absolute Monarch uh, lore video um, I'm going to do new I mean I'm trying to do new, I mean, I'm going to make more lore videos because I currently in making a, a deck from the Monarchs because I've been comparing the meta deck from the Monarch, uh, the Monarch deck from previous uh, meta deck users around the world from the best players and yeah, not delaying, without further ado, going to the, the elemental the War of Six Elemental Lords. And yeah. Let's go right into it. It's gonna be a short one. The Wars of the Six Elemental Lords. And here we go guys. The world is comprised of six elements. Earth. Water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. The elements were brought by six, brought to earth by six elemental lords. The world's at peace as long as the six elements are in equilibrium. However, when the badge is disturbed, the elemental lords appear. When the elemental lords' physical forms have increased in density, enough to be seen by humans, disaster occurs. Occurs. The elemental lords have appeared numerous times, causing natural disasters throughout the world. The ancient built temples to calm these recurring natural disasters. People prayed continu continually, but, but the elemental lords did not possess the capacity to answer those prayers. However, however the people's desperate prayers would be answered miraculously after, hundred year, after hundreds of years. Another power had been nothing to do with the elemental lords may have taken pity on them. The elemental lords chose a handful of humans. They were called the Element Saber. They serve as they serve the elemental lords and maintain in order of the elements. Go on with the last, uh, basically a short, uh, short stick of the story in the lore in the Element Saber and the Elemental Lords. But continue on, the Element, the Element Saber now protect the temples which pilgrims no longer visit. And they, today, they manage the, el the elements that compromise the world not to clear out of control. Let's take for example the Element of Fire Fair Shop. The Element would enhance the power of the water element, the green throughout the land, extinguishing the flames. When one element goes, gets out of hand, the forces of the opposite element are increased, restoring balance. The element sabers inherit only a fraction of the elemental lord's authority and cannot exercise all their power, nor should that power make them feel as if they were gods. They use their ability to command, command, train, and do right. Training never ends for the element sabers. Yeah, that'll be it uh, for this uh, lore video because I'm currently showing to, showing to you guys about the deck, uh, Monarch deck I've been building right now. I've been continuing with my own uh, structure of the Monarch deck and yeah, the next next videos about the lore. I will get continue to make lore videos because I've been building that one deck for a long time now because I can't decide which meta decks that I gotta use from the internet from the internet suggested me to use. But anyways that's it for me today. I hope you guys 
like this uh, large, large video about the the Warriors of the Six Elemental Lord and the Element Sabers that are big fun here today. This is the last part of the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. And for the discovery in the comment section below, if you guys are interested in building me and my ID number in my video master goal ID, this name is your Omega 745-149-149. That'll be it for me. And I currently in my rank is rank 3 silver. And that is it for me today. Goodbye. God bless. Salamat salamat sa papadag na video nito guys. Thank you guys for watching. And goodbye. Ciao.